Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to the first book haul of 2022, and it's a little one. So because of my book buying not ban, but reduction. I'm not buying near as many books as I used to, so I didn't think I'd ever create a haul video. But other things happen, and sometimes I am gifted books or, you know, weird things. I, th I don't know if I'll ever actually have another book haul uh, this year because of this reduction in book purchasing. But I have enough here to do just a small haul of books that I've acquired in the past three months. So the first book that I got, I've already talked about in a wrap up because I've already read it, and that is Love Boat Reunion by Abigail Hingwen. This was the book that I bought in January. On January 25th, the day it came out, I was so excited. I waited and waited and waited to pick up this book and then I almost immediately read it and I loved it. This is the first book that I got. It is the sequel slash companion novel to Love Boat Taipei. And so this is Love Boat Reunion. It follows uh, Sophie and Xavier who are two characters from the first one but not the main characters. You don't necessarily have to read Love Boat Taipei in order to understand this book but it would definitely be good. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of context on what Love Boat is if you're not familiar with it and the characters' relationships to each other. But even then, like, you can still read this book without reading the first one, but I would recommend reading them both because they are both very good books. Then the book I bought in February was actually a blind date with a book that I wanted to do and I did it for a reading vlog, which I'll have up here. I think this is the right corner. I think. So there'll be a link, but it is a reading vlog for For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. Like I said, I bought it. I already read it, which is pretty good because most of the time when I have these book hauls, I haven't already read the books. Normally it takes me forever, but uh, we're on a roll here. So I was very excited to start this. I didn't know it was what I wanted until I was reading it. It is a fantasy first in a duology the second one will come out this June and I will be I will be picking that up because uh, I loved this one and it follows sisters so the first sister is for the throne the second is for the wolf and there is this magical dark forest with a beast inside holding captive the five kings which are kind of like the gods of the town city state country wherever she is from and so she is sacrificed to the wolf in the woods to bring back the gods, hopefully. So I loved it. Dark fantasy romance, blood magic, nature magic, and oh, I love this one so much. Five stars. <laughs> then the next three is, are, it's kind of funny, are volumes four, five, and six of Spy X Family. So what happened here? was I purchased the first six volumes. The sixth one was a pre-order, but everything else was a purchase of these and the first four volumes of Horemiya. And a, a couple weeks after purchasing them, I got volumes one, two, four of Horemiya and one, two, three of Spy X Family. And these just never came. And I waited months and months and months. And then all of a sudden, they came. So I'm still waiting on one more. I'm still waiting on Hordomia Volume 3, but other than that, this order is fulfilled. But yeah, I just needed to haul these to kind of finally almost complete that order. Just one more, one more manga to go <laughs> from that order. So the next book was gifted to me from my friend and they saw this in Target and they thought of me and they decided to buy it for me, which was super kind. It is Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. This is the book one of the Practical Magic series. 
and I believe it's a historical fiction magic. Yes, it's in the, it takes place in the 1600s, which is perfect because I read I've read almost all of my historical fiction on my shelf, but now I have this. So there's this and one other historical fiction that I own that I haven't read yet. So whenever I get the itch to pick up historical fiction again, this will be here for me. And then the last book is my March book, the book that I'm buying for March. And I just went to the store and bought it and it was a journey because I got to the store and I knew I wanted to buy this book and I had looked up right before going to the store to make sure that this book was in stock and it was. So I went to the Barnes and Noble and I looked all around and I couldn't find it. What in the world? This is such a beautiful book. It's popular. You know, like, why don't they have it? They said they had it online and I, and I looked around everywhere and I just wasn't finding it. So finally I asked for help. And I was like, hey, I'm looking for this book. And they were like, there is one left on the shelf. And I was like, oh my goodness, only one left. I was so relieved that there was one. And like, I didn't have to try and find it at another store because it was out at a couple other stores. So I don't, I don't know if I would have been able to find it today and I'm really impatient. So I was either going to get this book or possibly something else, but they had it. We went to the shelf. I found it. Nobody had taken it during the couple minutes of it. No one had picked it up from the shelf. And I bought The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. I have been looking forward to this book ever since I heard about it. I, this is one of my most anticipated reads. I don't even know I don't know if it's a five star prediction, but it very well could have been a five star prediction as well as one of my most anticipated reads. So this came out this past February. It follows a girl whose village is getting a lot of natural disasters from the sea and they believe that they need to sacrifice women to find the sea god's wife to appease him. And her brother's girlfriend, fiance, love of his life is supposed to be the next one to be sacrificed to try and find the true bride for the sea god and so she steps in and says no 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 do me instead so she sacrifices herself to the sea and lo and behold he's not the sea god isn't angry he's asleep so now we have to figure out how to wake him up and i here's the thing i feel like okay first off it's also based off in Korean mythology. I don't know if I said that, but I am super excited. The premise sounds amazing. The mythology vibes, you know I'm here for it. I love mythology-based fantasy. That is like my number one thing that I love. It feels like that's a very long summary for such a short book. I did not realize how short this book was. I honestly thought it was going to be a chonker. I thought this was going to be such a chunky book. And then I, when she gave it to me on the shelf, I was like, oh my word, that's so small. Legit, it's just barely past 300 pages. So hopefully I will fly through this pretty quickly because I am so excited for it. This will definitely be, this will be high up on the books I want to read. I already filmed and put out my March TBR. So like, check that out if you're interested. But this might just have to be a last minute addition to my March TBR. And it might jump the line a little bit because, oh my word, I want to read it. And look how beautiful it is. Like, seriously, look at this cover. Like, when I move my books around, when I get my third shelf and combine it with these two shelves and I rearrange my books a little bit, this is one that I'm going to have facing out. Like, it's not going to be like this, like every other book. It's going to be facing out and it's going to be beautiful. I am so excited. Those are all the books. Like I said, it was a mini haul. It was only seven books, but hey, books need to be hauled. So we'll see if my next haul ends up being in like autumn of each book that I've read or each book that I bought per month. So we'll see. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe. I make videos and post them every Sunday and Wednesday. Otherwise, I have a bunch of bookish social media down below for you to check out and follow me on and see all of my reviews. Otherwise, comment down below what books you've acquired recently and are really excited to read. I would always love to get recommendations from you guys. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.